Hi everyone, welcome to edupediaword.com. In this video, we'll be discussing a question on calculation of mean by all the three methods that we have studied so far. So the question says, calculate the mean percentage of unemployed youth from the given hypothetical data by all the three methods. Here a data is given in tabular form. This column shows percentage of unemployed youth and the second column shows number of districts with the corresponding percentage of unemployed youth. So we can clearly see that the total number of districts are 50 which is given at the end of this column. So friends, we have learned three methods to calculate mean. The first was direct method which said that mean is x bar that is summation fi xi over summation fi. This was the direct method. The second was assumed mean method. which said that mean is A plus D bar where A was assumed mean and D bar is summation Fi Di over summation Fi and the third method was step deviation method. According to this mean is simplified as A plus H U bar where A is assumed mean H is class size and U bar is summation Fi Ui over summation Fi. So all in all we'll be calculating the mean by all the three methods as X bar A plus D bar and A plus H U bar. So let us form a table of different parameters required for this question. Here the table has been labeled with certain columns. The first column we have labeled it as class intervals and the number of districts are labeled as frequency. So for all the three methods, first of all we need class marks. Class marks as discussed earlier are upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. So here for the first interval it will be 5 plus 15 divided by 2 which will be 20 by 2 that is 10. Similarly, for the second interval, it will be 15 plus 25 divided by 2, that is 40 divided by 2, which is 20. For the third interval, we can orally say that it will be 30, because 25 plus 35, we need the mid value of, of this interval, that is 25 plus 35 divided by Similarly, the mid values for the further intervals are 40, 50, 60 and 70. Now regarding deviations, this parameter will be needed for calculating the mean by the second method that is step deviation method. Now deviation that is di is given as xi minus a that is to calculate deviation we need assumed mean. So first of all let us assume a value as A that is assumed mean. Though we can take any value between the minimum lower in limit and the maximum upper limit that is between 5 and 75 but we will take a value one among 
these class marks because it will simplify our calculation it is more convenient for the calculation part to select the mid value of this class marks that is this 40 so let this 40 be a that is a is 40 thus deviations for x1 that is first class mark will be x1 minus a that is 10 minus 40 or we can say minus 30 for the second class mark it will be 20 minus 40 or minus 20 for the third class mark it will be minus 10 here it will be 0 similarly following the pattern 50 minus 40 will be 10 60 minus 40 will be 20 and here it will be 30 for 70 minus 40 now this parameter will be used for step deviation method that is ui so let us also calculate ui whereas it was being used for assumed mean so for calculating ui friends ui is nothing but d i divided by h that is h here is class size now class size is upper limit minus lower limit that is 15 minus 5 10 so 10 is the class size for every interval so h will be 10 and hence ui for first row will be minus 30 over 10 that is d1 over h which will be minus 3 similarly minus 20 over 10 will be minus 2 minus 10 over 10 will be 1 here 0 1 2 and 3 now we need to product these columns with the corresponding frequencies so for fi xi we will multiply xi with fi and we will get f1 x1 product as 70 f2 x2 as 200 f3 x3 as 330 and for this we will be having 7 into 40 that is 280 here it will be 9 into 50 that is 450 here it will be 4 into 60 that is 240 and for the last it will be 140 similarly for product of frequency with deviation 7 into minus 30 will be minus 210 10 into minus 20 will be minus 200 so the different values will be minus 110 0 90 80 and 60 similarly for the product fi ui we will be multiplying frequency with this column that is 7 into ui that is minus 21 7 into minus 3 for the second it will be 10 into minus 2 that is minus of 20 similarly here it will be minus 11 here it will be 0 here it will be 9 here 8 and here 6 so now for calculation of mean we need for the different methods we need the sum of all the values in all these three columns that is for this column for calculating the sum it will be 0 at the unit place and then here it will be 1 and 1710 1, 
for FIDI the calculation will be the negative values are their sum is five twenty and for the positive values we have two three zero. So the different values their sum will be minus two nine zero. Similarly here the sum will be minus 52 and plus of 23 so it will be 29 of minus now once we have calculated all these sum values let us move on to a more tabular representation of all these calculation that is represented in this figure so we have here summation fi xi here summation fi di and here summation fi ui so now the final stage of calculating mean by all the three methods by first method that is direct method will be summation fi xi over summation fi that is 1710 over 50 so on cancellation it will give us 34.2 now by assumed mean method x bar will be a plus b bar that is a plus summation fi di over summation fi now assumed mean my dear friends was 40 so we have 40 plus minus 290 which is summation fi di over summation fi which is 50 so we will have here 40 minus 5.8 so 40 minus 5.8 will give us 34.2 now by the last step deviation method the formula is a plus h u bar so a plus h summation fi ui over summation fi where a is 40 class size is 10 and summation fi ui is minus 29 and fi is 50 so this division part is the same as this part except that this part is the tenth multiple of this part so we can say that 40 plus 10 the decimal part will be shifted here in this case so we will have minus 0 0.58 so again on multiplying by 10 it will again get 5.8 so the mean is here also 34.2 so we can see that by all the three methods the mean is 34.2 in fact these two methods are simpler version of direct method so according to the given question the required value that is mean percentage of unemployed youth is 34.2% so friends that was all on a question on mean by all the three methods thanks friends for watching this video